All right, so of all the things you've got to worry about is that uh, when you think about, okay, how do I succeed as a real estate agent? Maybe you're a new licensee, maybe you've been in the business for a while. You've got all this stuff on your plate. It can be completely overwhelming and believe me, I get it. I can sympathize with that for sure. So that's why I'm making today's video. Today's video focuses on the four main areas that you should focus and prioritize before anything else, okay? Because if you can get these four things right, you're gonna have a successful career in real estate, my friends, I promise you that. So let's break down each one of them and then you can leave this video and say to yourself, okay, where, where's the work that I need to, what, what is the work that I need to do? What are the tasks, what are the projects under each category? And you'll hopefully get clarity, okay? so. Area number one, of course, is lead generation, okay? Without leads, you don't have a business. It is that simple. And the thing that you have to make peace with, the thing you've got to accept, is that you are actually in, as a salesperson, you're in the lead generation business. Yes, I understand. You've got a license that you pull out, you show people, listen, I can sell houses, I understand that. But that's the practitioner, the real business you're in of selling is generating leads. So in this first category, when you think to yourself, okay, well, that's the first priority. Brandon told me the first priority is getting my lead generation strategy dialed in, right? This is the, the, the main focus. There's four, this is at the top of the list. You've gotta have a lead generation business blueprint. You gotta have an action plan that you follow every single day to help you generate leads on a consistent basis, okay? This is what we help real estate agents out every single day in our coaching program, okay? If that's something that you uh, would find value in, there's a link right beneath this video. You can click the link, we can jump on a call. We'll walk you through exactly how our coaching program works and then you can decide if it makes sense for you to join or not. But we wanna make sure that we give you the step-by-step -step blueprint in order to create a lead generation strategy. So you have to ask yourself, in this pillar number one, there's only three ways to generate business. You can sit back and wait for business to find you. This is what 90% of the industry does. I highly recommend you don't take that path, okay? That's supposed to be funny, you're supposed to laugh. Don't just sit around and wait for business to find you. The second way is you can pull out your wallet and you can go and buy leads. You can buy internet leads, you can send mass mailings, you can, you can uh, do mass advertising and mass marketing. Very expensive, it works, but you have to be prepared to spend a lot of money and wait a long time for you to get a return on that investment. And then the third way is what I teach, it's what I believe in, it's what I talk about in this book uh, for 10 chapters, which is proactive, outbound prospecting. Puts you in control of your future. It is just what I believe in, it's what's changed my life, it's, a, it's the thing that's allowed me to create the success I have in my life, and it's the same thing that our coaching clients are doing every day to also succeed. So. Point number one, you have to have a lead generation strategy. It is the highest priority in your business. Until that thing is figured out, you shouldn't be working on anything else. Put the website aside, put the business cards uh, aside, put what your Facebook page looks uh, aside, who cares about what it says on your Instagram. Put all that stuff aside until your lead generation strategy is figured out. Pillar number two, lead conversion. Lead conversion and lead follow-up. 80% minimum of the money you make as a real estate agent is going to come through your lead follow-up strategies, systems in your business. This is also the pillar that we see most agents get wrong. Most of you understand lead generation. Most of you have heard people like me screaming from the mountaintops long enough. Like, I get it, I get it. Lead generation, lead generation, lead generation. Most of you are dropping the ball in lead conversion and lead follow-up. What systems and processes do you have in your business to ensure that there are no opportunities falling through the cracks? And if we're being honest, most of you have that problem. It's probably the number one problem in your business. So. Carve out some time in your weekly schedule, your monthly schedule, and focus on lead follow-up, lead conversion systems in your business. 
so that the next time you generate an opportunity, the next time you have a conversation with a buyer or a seller, and they say, yeah, we'd love to meet with you. We'd love the opportunity to work with you, that you know what to do to stay in communication with that prospect. Pillar number three, client service or the client experience. Massive, massive priority in your business, okay? If you're gonna do all the hard work, you're gonna go out there and generate the lead, you're gonna follow up with that lead, turn that lead into an appointment, use your skills to secure the new client, get them to sign a contract, you better give them a good experience or you're gonna get fired and they're not gonna tell anybody about you. Now listen close, this probably is the most important part of this video. Client service is the best lead generation strategy there is. Brandon, how in the world can that be? How can client service be the best lead generation strategy in my business? Here's how it works. Your goal, my goal, everybody in real estate has the same goal. To one day have so much business that we're exceeding our financial goals and that business comes through as referrals. Now, if you want referrals, if you want them, who are they most likely going to come from? You guessed it. The people you've already worked with. So if you want a lot of referrals, which you do, you keep telling me that, you don't like calling prospects that you don't know, I get that, we made another video about that, you can go watch that. If you want more people to send you referral business, which is the most profitable, it's the most productive, it's the most enjoyable business that we can do in our industry, you have to have a world-class client experience that blows your clients away when you work with them. There's a great book I highly recommend it's called Raving Fans. Okay, I'll link to it uh, beneath this video. Check it out. It's a great book on client service. It will start to change your mindset on what it means to give your client a world-class experience. Because here's what you want. At the end of that transaction, when you hand them the check to their home for selling their home, or you hand them the keys if you sold them a house as on the buy side, you want them to say, oh my gosh, that was phenomenal. Like that experience that we went through was absolutely phenomenal. We cannot thank you enough. You then want to turn right back around and say, listen, I'm so happy that we had a great experience. I need your help. What do you think the prospect's gonna say every time? They're gonna say, yeah, anything. What can we do to help you? I need you when you're out there living your life, enjoying your new home. And, you, and your friends and your family members are talking about buying or selling real estate, I need you to put me in contact with them. Can you do that for me? And you gain their agreement. This, my friends, if you can get this thing right, you can grow a sustainable, long-term business, generating repeat and referral business. And then the fourth pillar is your relationships with your database. Another massive priority that most real estate agents are getting wrong. Most of you are, are really focused on, on strategy or on pillar number one, which is great lead generation, going out there and communicating with absolute strangers, but most of you are terrible at communicating with the people you already have relationships with in your database. You're terrible at it. I was too for a very, very long time. There's a gold mine waiting for you. If you can put a plan and a strategy in place to communicate with the people in your database, this is where 30, 40, 50% of your business should be coming from every single year. For most of you, you're getting 0%. And this is why you're having a tough time earning the money that you want in this business. Now, if you want help with any four of these main pillars in your real estate business, I put a link right underneath this video for us to jump on a call talk about how my coaching program works, okay? And how the coaching program works, I'll tell you right now, is designed to give you a step-by-step -step blueprint to go out into the marketplace and generate a consistent in-stream of listings and income. So if that's something you're struggling with and you want help, click the link beneath this video, we'll jump on a quick call, we'll walk you through exactly how working with me works, and then at the end of that call you can decide if now is the time or not. Either way, no big deal. Hopefully you got value from today's video. 
Let me know what I can do to help you moving forward in the comment section beneath this video, and we'll see you guys very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.